Welcome back to my channel guys, it's time for another volume review. This is going to be on Kaiju Volume 3, uh, which is brought to us by Vis Media, also Shonen Jump. Um, not sponsored by them, so you guys can find it wherever you guys want. But uh, if you do want to buy it cheap, there is a link in the description below. I have been doing this uh, series. I do have Volume 4 somewhere here waiting to be reviewed as well. So I'm going to review that one, which I think it's the latest one. And haven't seen volume five out yet so uh for now it's only going to be this one and very soon volume four as well so um this is a great story have volume one and two out so go check those videos out now before anything else if you haven't done so by now make sure you subscribe to my channel give some love by commenting liking and sharing uh if you haven't gone and checked out the other videos like i said go check them out and you can also Follow me on social media in the description below. Okay, so my notes are here in the side, so you might see me looking a little bit to the side here, but uh, we have Hibino, who is the main character. He's not in the, in the cover, but he is the main character. Um, he transformed into his Kaiju 8 form and is attacking who is now named at Kaiju number 9. Uh, now, Kaiju number 9 uh, is pretty undestructible in the sense of he can um recuperate pretty fast and he uses a lot of corpses uh to put in front of him to kind of defend himself and essentially where we left off in volume two is kaiju number eight or hibino shows up to defend his buddies now who are his buddies uh it's a reno who is i want to say like the best uh male recruit that they've gotten in a long time who's also there you know to become top in the defense force and then you have Iharu who his goal is basically to be as good as Reno um, and they go and try their best and you know they're they're failing so he he showed up in last uh, volume and is defending them and he's doing a pretty good job about it to be honest um, Problem is, before he's able to finish off the kaiju, um, Vice Captain Hoshina, uh, actually not him, but other soldiers show up to rescue Reno and Iharu. And while Hibino is trying to escape, still in his kaiju number eight form, um, Vice Captain Hoshina shows up. And then there's a the whole battle between them two, and he's able to escape eventually, distract him, and eventually escape. And throughout the whole volume, Vice Captain um, Hoshina is just puzzled of how the fight went because obviously Hibino was not fighting to kill, he was fighting to defend. As uh, So at one point, instead of attacking the Vice Captain, he attacks his weapon and breaks the weapon. And Vice Captain Hoshina is very puzzled in the, in the whole fight. So. He is uh, practicing and really, you know, training to get himself at level and be able to kill the next time he encounters a kaiju. Now, uh, in the sideline, Hibino recovers, but also Reno and uh, Mr. Ihaudu. And then uh, Hibino is promoted finally into the defense force as an actual official and that's great he has a little moment with uh miss mina who is his childhood friend and she sort of remembers the whole goal of them competing and being a part at level um kikuru who is here in the front cover doesn't really do much of an appearance i mean she's in all these scenes that i mentioned in some way or another like she's there when Hibinu transforms and she's there in the hospital while her comrades are recovering as well as in the party afterwards but she's not really a main character in this in the volume until at the end and at the end essentially what happens is the uh, base where they are staying is attacked by a very strong uh, kaiju and essentially everyone's trying to defend themselves but they're not able to um, destroy certain kaijus well she shows up with this weapon and very specifically we have, we have to understand these characters of the defense force don't really get weapons specialized for themselves unless they're really high level and 
vice captain and captain Mino decided that she needed a weapon because she is as good as they come so she already had her weapon ready and she is killing kaiju's left and right in the end of this volume which is great uh because vice captain hoshina is having to fight their leader who seems to be uh stronger than hibino um and he's also not in human form but he's able to talk and communicate so he's high leveled haiju um sorry kaiju so Anyways, that's the whole volume. It's a very, very action-packed. This one actually moved very fast. I was able to finish it less than an hour. Um, it did not. I did not stop reading it. It, it. Once I started, I finished, and that's that's something that I like to mention is that this this series is is such a great series because of that. Um, it keeps you entertained, and every chapter is action-packed. Um, Whereas some series is so easy to start and so easy to end, but the middle part of the volume is like, ah, oh, come on, like, what are you doing? Is it just filler? Is it just story? Sometimes it's important, but they just present it in a boring way. And this one is just page after page. I mean, I can just open randomly and and tell you like, this is the training, you know. Um, this is where they're fighting at the end. Like there's there's so much action going on. Uh, you have the fight in the beginning of Kaiju number eight and the vice captain. Um, you have the the two Kaiju fights. I mean, it, it, everything here in this volume is action packed. And even the comedy um, relief and, and stuff like that, like when they're when they're in their hospital, stuff like that. It's funny and I like it. It goes straight to the point. It does a great job. So. You're missing out if you're not reading these. Again, there is a link in the description below to buy cheap manga and anime. If you haven't done so, please go and do that. And uh, thank you so much for those who support this channel. I do have quite a bit of manga reviews that I'll be doing. You'll be seeing quite a bit of manga, to be honest, more than anything. But uh, I do have some light, a light novel and a first impression lined up as well. So anyways, guys, thanks so much for your support. Don't be strangers. And uh, make sure you check out my social media. Like always, again, I already said it, don't be strangers. See you guys.